When I talk about a voice lesson in this context, I'm also talking about agency. I'm talking about the agency of marginalized voices, and I'm talking about ways that we can see and reveal how voices have been made silent over time. Sometimes it's really hard to find a common language between us. But like there's always a way we can breathe together, we can be together. Everyone breathes. And from breath comes voice. The color of our voice says more about us than what we're actually saying. The show explores forgotten women or forgotten stories. It also deals with identity of marginalized groups. You have people performing who are neurodiverse, you have people who are, from, uh, who are people of color, people who identify as women. So it's like all, all the performers are marginalized, but it's also a thing of like how those stories are told and who's telling those stories, how those, how those people interact and also how those people connect. This piece gives me the reminder that I can actually communicate with this person, even though I don't understand in the first place, there is always a way. There's a lot of places this can go right now. This is a research project, but it's also a participatory project. I'm really curious about it as an installation. I'm curious about it as an audience experience, an immersive experience, a multi-sensory experience, and even a touch tour of the spine, of the voice, and lots of different lived experiences of that. And that's why the multidisciplinary nature of it is particularly curious and interesting to me. But I would also love it to just burst out and become much more full musically and become much more operatic in that way and the images to get even bigger. So it might have these kind of fragmented versions where it's more accessible and participatory and then like honed in versions where it's a really solid musical 
profound experience performance.